What is everybody? Welcome to the new Beard Express. I'm going to be showing you how to start by making some Facebook ads to run it for aiming into Shopify. So the process is actually not that hard, but what you need to do is to have an actual Shopify account in order to get started. So it's really important to get started here with the Shopify. I'm going to leave you guys actually a link down below in the description so you can get a totally free, uh, let's say a trial for the next two and three days. And you're going to be getting three months to pay only with one dollar. So what I wanted to do is to hit into my Shopify. I'm going to hit into logged in. And once you are signed in, you wanted to make sure that we are already signed into our Facebook or Meta account. So if I go and open a new tab, focused into facebook.com fast forward slash business, fast forward slash tools, and fast forward slash Meta business suit, or you can just Google it, go, go for Meta business suit. So here you can manage all the activity from your business with Facebook, Messenger, and Instagram. We can create even ads for the three of them at the same time. So here to get started and automatically it's going to be sending you into the business.facebook.com section where we can try to customize everything uh, here. So as you can see, I do already have here um, my account. I have my Facebook page and go into my Instagram account. If you haven't done this, what I can suggest to you is to go directly into my actual section, which is into the upper side like this and create a business account. So by creating a business account here, I'm going to import my first, my last name and my business email. Once you have created your actual um, new section here, I'm going to go into this tool section, go into confirmed, go into continue. And then later on, what I wanted to do is just to make sure that I have full control of these elements. I'm going to go into my, let's go for business account information. And here you want to fill all of this information, go into the business assets. So here I wanted to import new pages, new ad accounts, new Instagram accounts. And I believe that it's not that hard to do that. So um, actually we do have like a full step-by-step -step tutorial. If you want to check that out, let's leave that down below in the description. So with that being said, let's continue. Now that we have our meta business suit already been set up, what I wanted to do is to connect my Shopify with Facebook. So what you can do is to go here into your store Shopify, hit into applications. And what I want to do is to go for Shopify app store. And now what I want to do is to download out an application that can be helping me to connect everything into my actual socials. So if you focus into the Facebook and Instagram meta, it's going to be appearing this one, developer meta, the reviews free to install, additional challenges may be applied. So if I hit into add application, this is totally optional, but this one should be helping you even to uh, add a sales channel into your store, into your online store, Facebook and Instagram. So what I'm saying here is that maybe what you can do is to create some, let's say stuff, you can start selling directly into Facebook and Instagram. So you can create create like some messenger advertisement. So it's really, really easy to use it, but creating ads, it's a little bit more different than that. So just go into connect your account to Facebook. Here have my business assets. We have the terms and conditions and all that. So while I'm gonna go here into the backside, now that I have a business account, what I want to do is to have an ad account. So into the left part, once again, we do have the settings here. So into this settings, I wanted to look out for the ad account settings. This one should be sending me into the ads manager. So here into ads manager, what I wanted to do is to have an actual account, an actual ads manager account. So go into create a new one. And then once we have an account already been active, go into the left pod and go into campaigns. So here into campaigns, you should be seeing all your different campaigns that should be uh, started, created by yourself. So in this part, what you want to do is to customize and create ads to run and to send people from our Facebook, Instagram ads directly into our store. So I'm going to hit into the upper side, it says campaigns. I select my business asset. In my case, it's the second one. This one is not actually created. So there we go. Now, as you can see, we can go directly into create 
and here to create the process is actually really simple what i wanted to do is to choose a campaign objective since we wanted to create some people i wanted to collect leads from the business or the brand i wanted to choose the actual uh, leads or you can choose sales if you wanted to focus into only uh, more people who are likely to purchase your products or services so choose sales or whatever you want are looking for and hit into continue now here into the campaign name let's go for shopify uh tire number one so now into the campaign details just leave it into auction go for the campaign objective and you wanted to enable the catalog so in my case we don't have a catalog because we haven't linked it to my shopify with my facebook account but if you do this automatically all your products are going to be available into your facebook both your facebook and instagram account if you don't have that so you are not interested in that you don't have to worry about that let's go and continue now just leave this like that at the moment hitting to next and now we do have the ad set name so here i'm going to delete this ad set and let's go for shopify and I want to make the ad for just one product. So let's go for product number one. Now, conversion location, very, very important to choose website. I want people to go directly into my website. So now I'm gonna close into the X mark. Performance goal is to maximize number of conversions. Conversion is gonna be taking the most likely to take a specific action on your website. Though that could be like added to a car to make a purchase, to check it out. In a specific block of my website whatever so here into the pixel you can create a new pixel in order to have custom conversions if you don't have one you can create a new one into the events manager we're going to do that later now i'm going to scroll all my way down and choose my lifetime budget of 5000 mxn or even i can import two thousand. there we go now i'm going to just leave this schedule like this and here into the audience is really, really important to choose in a specific demographic audience. So let's say, for example, that all my product is most likely for people who are into Mexico and here into ages from 18 into only, let's go 25, for example. And here we have the genders. I choose all the genders. And here we have the all the languages. And now I have the next. This is the part what I wanted to add the creating of the of the brand the creation of the ad so here into the ads name let's go for the product number one we choose our facebook or our instagram account we have the create the ad we have the manual upload we want to import a single image or a video and here I can import my media so i'm going to get into add the video or add an image whatever you're looking for I choose this element, I hit into next, and this is like a preview of how it's gonna be looking. After you hit into next, you just need to hit into done. This is like a preview into your Instagram stories, Facebook feeds, and, and all of that. So after I have just successfully done this, let's go for buy my product now, or let's go for 50% of only today, whatever, or today only, we have the headline, and the description just check it out how it's going to be looking your actual feeds but here into the website url what you wanted to do is to go back into your shopify store and here i'm going to hit into my online store and i wanted to use this url because this is my shopify url you don't need to have a custom url if you don't want it to just paste this website url and hit into preview URL to make sure that your URL is actually working. In my case, we have this one, uh, haven't launched it yet, but my link is actually working. So after you have successfully done that, just leave this, all of this like that. You don't want to focus a lot in there and hit into published. And now I'm going to hit into the X mark and check it out that I'm going to go into this card, my draft and check it out here that we already have an actual uh, ad already been running out we have the, the active we have the ad set name the budget the last significant the attributions and you can see all the results as you are growing and growing your actual stuff here so 
With that being said guys, we have now reached the very end of the video, so this is how we can get started by running some ads here into Facebook and Instagram to go directly into your Shopify. Now, um, this application of Shopify, this meta application is totally optional, but it's totally recommended if you wanted to sell stuff into your social medias. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more amazing shows, how you can make some marketing research and much more stuff from Shopify into your social medias. Thank you once again for watching the video and hopefully I can see you next time.